Oh, oh, it's all spooky. Oh, that can only mean one thing. We're, good. we're, we're opening the Mimikyu box today. It's a spooky boy. We're also going to go over my promo cards. Hooray! There we are. Isn't that beautiful? Nice and purple. We got the Mimikyu pin collection. This was on sale at my local toy store, so I figured I'd give it a go. Um, and I actually got a Mimikyu pin for Christmas um, and gave it to a friend of mine. So now I've got a Mimikyu pin uh, of my own. And there you go. If you play the Pokemon trading card game online, you can use this code and redeem this box. Get a whole bunch of cards and uh, other stuff as well. I'm not sure exactly what you get, but there you go. It's all yours. Inside this box, of course, we get the Mimikyu pin, which is absolutely adorable. Um, it's got a little thing on the back. You just tear that bad boy off, and then you've got a, you've got a Pokemon. Do you get it? Ha <laughs> ha! And then you get three booster packs from older sets. We've got... X and Y, Fates Collide, we've got the Sun and Moon base set, and we've got the Sun and Moon base set, which is cool. These are packs that I've not done a lot of, so I'm excited. And of course, you get the card on the front, which as always, does seem to be bent, which really does suck. Um, and this is a promo Mimikyu. It knows Haunt, it's a bit holographic, and uh, looks, uh, looks pretty damn cool. Put one damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. You can, uh, you can haunt your enemy team. All right, so let's um, let's do Sun and Moon, Fates Collide, and then Sun and Moon again. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. I have no idea what's in this in these sets, um, so get excited for some possible interesting stuff. Who knows? Sun and Moon, let's go. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? How do these codes work? All right, don't look at the back. <laughs> All right, there's a code for you from Fates Collide. Enjoy. One, two, three. Oh, it feels like I haven't done Pokemon in a while. There's some steel for you, everybody. Blue steel. And in this set, we are going to get a lot of banging. I'm sorry if you can hear that. That is my uh, landlord, I believe. We've got a great ball. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. we got Dartrix looking very cool, spitting some uh, pointy feathers at everybody. Watch out. We've got an Alolan Raticate with those big chunky cheeks. we got a big Chongus. Chongus Rat. We love him. He's fat. That's a rhyme. Put that on a shirt. Chongus Rat. We love him. He's fat. Picky Peck. One of my favorites, of course, from the uh, from this generation. I love Toucanon so much. Uh, we got Derpy Eevee, which is great. Not the Derpy Eevee, of course, but a Derpy Eevee nonetheless. I love the face on this one. It is just the weirdest thing. We've got a Psyduck uh, hanging out at the uh, river, you know, um, massaging a headache. We got Spiro in really uh, nice art, clambering down on the rocks, maybe looking for some uh, seashells to sell. We got a Dratini. Um, with that dragon style on the card. I love that uh, that coloring that they go with. Um, hanging out under the ocean. We've got ourselves a reverse hollow Dartrix. Um, shooting some feathers, just like the one we had earlier. And as our rare, we're going to get a... Whoa! 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 Well then. Oh. Oh my good. Okay. All right. Th that... All right. This is why we do this, everybody. This is why we do this. This is why we do this. This is a nest ball. This is a secret, rare, golden nest ball. Bask in its glory. It is 158 out of 149, which uh, which is how you know that it is a secret rare. That is beyond cool. I'm pretty sure the only other secret rare I have in my entire collection um, that is golden like this is another type of Pokeball as well. I will have to try to fish that out sometime. I don't know where it is. All right, with that excitement out of the way, let's put them to the side for now and move on. Ho, 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 ho. All right, all right. Off to a good start. It's been a while since we've got something exciting like that. So I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm happy for it. EX, uh, uh, e -X, X and Y, fates collide. Let's go. Let's get into this. Uh, how do we do the code? Is it this way? I feel like it probably isn't. Nope, I don't think it is. We're going to flip it around. There you go. There's the code. Enjoy. Three, and then our energy. What? Oh, not our energy. That's our rare. Okay, we messed it up. We messed this one up. Okay, we're just going to look through them then. Mega Catcher, helping you catch Pokemon if you don't have any Pokeballs, I guess. Alakazam Spirit Link. You and Alakazam can become closer than ever. We've got a fossil excavation kit for when you're digging for them uh, uh, Amastars. we got a Snubble. A bad Snubble. Spank that bottom. 
Um, that's the listen. That's the look he's given me. Um, looks like he made a mess on the table. Need, now he needs a little <laughs> spanking. Uh, we got Binnacle uh, pulling out a piece of string. You can share, pals. It's okay. We've got Bronzord. Looks like he's just kind of spinning around in the field, just having a great time. Maybe he's uh, the hills are alive with the sound of music. We've got Burmy. All three forms of Burmy in this card, which I think is really, really cool. Burmy, I think, is an underrated um, bug type. I think he's bug. Is he grass bug? I can't remember. Or maybe just uh, maybe just grass. Uh, bug grass. Po I don't remember. I love Burmy. I also really love Wormadam. We've got Carbink, which is a wonderful word to say. Um, not in a cave, which is where I'd normally think to find Carbink, but there he is. We've got Bronzong as our reverse, which is pretty cool. I'm here for it. I love Bronzong, um, Metagross, Bronzor. You know, they're all good. Those are different evolutionary chains. Bronzong and Bronzor, very cool. Uh, Metagross, Beldum, and Metang. Sorry, I've, I've gotten them confused. And third gen is my favorite. Don't tell anybody. It's our little secret. And our rare, of course, was the Mr. Mime that we saw earlier, which is not rare, not fun, not holographic, not secret. And our last pack of the day before we move on to the promo cards that I own is going to be this. And I'm pretty sure code is gonna be here yes all right no spoilers this time uh and i believe yeah okay shocking isn't it that we found the energy right away good stuff there's another different type of pokemon catcher why why aren't people using pokeballs what's going on here when did that change we've got a gold bat with a big old mouth shove anything you like in there like a, a baseball bat a trash can yeah uh, your brother We've got Dragonair, the evolved form of Dragon... Dra Dra He's in the ocean, uh, splishing around. Splish, splash, he was taking a bath. Bum, 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 bum. We got Derpy Eevee again. Quick draw. Whoopsh. We got the Crab Brawler. Uh, very, very cool. I like this Pokemon. Um, Crabominable is also really good. He'll beat the living crap out of you. Butt your ear off or something. We got Marini. Looking a bit uh, depressed there under the ocean. A bit sad, but it's okay, Marini. It gets better. We've got the Alolan Diglett, which is... I love this art. This is amazing. Look at him just hanging out, chilling. Not not a care in the world. Doesn't give a shit that there's two volcanoes right behind him. It's great. We've got Dupider, which uh, is another Pokemon that I strangely enjoy the uh, concept of. Uh, Araquanid as well. Very cool. Very cool designs. Our reverse hollow is going to be Rabambi, which is cool. I think I mentioned in one of the previous videos, I actually used Cutie Fly and Rabambi in my playthrough of Sun and Moon, so I'm glad to see this Pokemon. And on the back, if this is a two cannon, I'll be pleased. It's not! We've got a Golduck. A regular old Golduck. Uh, just uh, splash, just shooting beams of water from its feet. Hands? That's the one. Nothing too crazy from the last two packs, but man, oh man, that secret rare in the beginning. Let's, uh, let's just get our fingerprints all over it and just bring that quality down while we look at it one more time. Oh, beauty. So I've been collecting Pokemon cards for many, many years. Um, it's only recently that I started doing um, videos on them. Um, so I've got a lot of promo cards. Here's the uh, here's the set. So I wanted to just quickly go through just to see what I have. And uh, this is basically me saying to myself, hey, research. Figure out how much your cards are worth. And then these are all going to go into their own special promo binder. So bear with me while we go through these. Um, I'm going to try to make it this uh, a little bit quicker than normal. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll see what we got here. See if there's anything cool. We've got this promo Glammeow, uh, is very, very pretty. Again, all these are, are quite, quite good to look at. They've got quite nice art. We've got Chimchar, again, another promo with the with the green holographic. Very pretty to look at. Uh, Magnazone, also holographic. Good to see, good to see. And another Magnazone, also holographic. This one, um, electric type this time, instead of steel type. We've got, of course, the Crobat VMAX that we saw um, pull in the very first video on this channel. And we've got the other uh, Crobat V that we saw pulled uh, in the very first video on this channel. If you want to check it out, click that icon up in the top of your screen right here. See where I'm pointing? Right here. Just give that a click and you can watch this first video. It was fantastic. We've got Torterra, also known as The Beast. Uh, another very, very holographic. Um, the holographic... Uh, Sparkle go right along on the outside as well. You can see that there's a massive bend in the top corner of this card, so that's a little unfortunate. Then we've got this uh, Zekrom EX. I love it when they come out of the card, like the art comes out of the square in the middle. And, uh, of course, his holographic shininess goes all around the sides as well. We've got this card. Now, I don't know how or where I managed to find this or get this. This is an actual uh, oily 
holographic Japanese promo card. As you can see on the back, this is uh, a Japanese card, and it is uh, quite interesting looking. It looks like it was probably from McDonald's, which is very interesting. Um, I want to look this one up a bit more as well, because I think is one of the only two or three Japanese cards that I have, which is very, very cool. Um, let me know in the comments below if you guys would be interested in watching me open a Japanese set of cards, because I think I think that would be quite kind of fun. And I've been itching to, uh, to to delve into the Japanese market as well. So let me know if you want to see that. We've got this really old Groudon EX card. It's got the e-reader stripe on the back that you could get for your Game Boy Advance. And you could actually swipe this card in and I think uh, get some rare items or something like that. I don't remember. And we've got this uh, e-reader bag on. Also another promo, which is pretty cool. We've got Ash's Pikachu, which was given out for the movie uh, I Choose You, which is a horrible, awful movie. Don't go see it. It's bad. We've got a Raichu, holographic AF, just hanging out. I'm um, shooting some sparks everywhere. Also quite holographic. A Mewtwo EX. Uh, he's pretty basic, that old Mewtwo. Am I right? Uh, again, art coming out of the borders and stuff like that. The holographic shininess is all over the place. We've got a... A promo Malamar, which is a bit strange. This is from Sun and Moon Forbidden Light. Um, so that's kind of cool. We we opened some Sun and Moon earlier. Um, a Zoroark promo, which is not surprising. Zoroark was like the Pokemon that they were pushing uh, for uh, black and white. They uh, they really liked um, the design, I guess. Same with Zorua. And we've got a promo Blissey, just hanging out in the woods, just chilling. Very, very sparkly, very, very pretty. I like this card. It's quite nice. And uh, there you go, uh, talking about Zorua and Zoroark. Here's the promo Zorua as well. We've got the promo uh, for Sun and Moon Lost Thunder Suicune, which is very, very nice. That Look at all that shininess in the back. Oh, it's beautiful. We've got a Latios EX full art, which is, uh, well, I don't know if this would be classified as full art. Maybe, maybe not. Probably not. Um, this is a promo, of course. Um, very, very holographic. Everything but the Pokemon itself is actually reflective. Um... And the Pokemon's eyes as well, also reflective. Very cool. Same thing with this one. A Blastoise EX. Just very, very exciting art. The the whites and the blues on the card match the Blastoise incredibly well. Very, very cool. Uh, we've got the Crabomitable promo card. Um, I probably got this in the same spot that we got the uh, Crab Brawler, um, very likely, um, from Sun and Moon. Burning Shadows. Massive Legend. Uh, oh, and of course, we've got the promo card that everybody knows, that everybody loves. This is, of course, the Pokemon the First Movie Mew promo card that they were giving out back in the day. Love this one. That one's just hanging out. Uh, we've got the Detective Pikachu promo um, for when the movie was coming out. I don't know how I managed to get this. Maybe by just going to see the movie in theaters. That, that could have been it. We've got a promo Litten. Sparkling it up in the forest. Just hanging out, relaxing, you know, having a good time. We've got Lapras as well. I hope you guys didn't hear me smacking my lips just now. <laughs> that was awful. Uh, this uh, this art is really cool. Um, this card is, of course, uh, quite damaged, unfortunately. Um, bent and uh, faded, but still very cool. we got a holographic Grookey from the uh, Sword and Shield um, promo. Uh, I think I probably got this with the game. Maybe I'm not sure. Maybe one of the first released packs. This is a very old one. Um, this is quite old. Uh, this is Hound Doom. From the depths of hell, just uh, hanging out with the holographic sky in the background from... Oh my god, I can't remember what that set is. It'll be in text in the on the screen. It's very, very cool. Um, this is a... The, uh, I don't... This doesn't even look like a promo. This, this is just a common from an old set. Get out of here, Chinchu. Chinchow, what are you doing in here? Or maybe, although maybe it was. This is from the same set. Okay, I might, I might have got this confused. These aren't promos. This is just a holographic Raikou. Sorry. Let's get that out of there. Um, this is one of my other um, Japanese cards. Again, not sure if this is a promo or not. It just says DPS down here in the bottom. So I think that's probably why it's in this pile. Um, very, very cool. I'll find out uh, where it's from. Uh, another Japanese card. Uh, possibly a promo. This is Krokona. Very, very cool. Again, not sure where or how I obtained this, but I did. Okay, uh, Dusk Noir Holographic. This is 100% a promo. Finally back on board here. Very, very cool. We got a Giratina, another full uh, full promo. Um, probably just from one of the box sets that you could get back in the day when uh, Diamond and Pearl were popular. We've got the Galarian Mr. Rhyme, of course, that we pulled from the Mr. Rhyme box that we uh, did on this channel. And our last promo is, of course, the... Oh, second last is the Pikachu V. 
promo that we got from the box that we did, and the Mimikyu that we uh, we got from the uh, box that I was telling you about earlier in this video, where I gave the uh, my friend the pin. These are two different Mimikyu promos. This is the one we got today. This is the one I got from the Pokemon Online store. Very, very cool. But last but not least, I wanted to show this off. If you follow me on Twitter, uh, you may have seen me tweet about this already. Um, this is the special delivery Pikachu. This one is worth quite a bit of money. This was given out um, for the Pokemon Store Canada. If you purchased, uh, I think it was $30 or more uh, while supplies lasted, you got this uh, card as a as kind of a thank you. Um, and I uh, didn't think it would ever be worth anything. I just wanted it because, you know, I'm a Canadian and I wanted Pokemon cards, so I jumped on the opportunity, and uh, I'm glad I did, because this is now worth quite a lot of money. Um, he will never come out of this packaging, and he will forever live on in my collection. I will never sell this. He's he's very, very good. And those were my promos. What promos do you have? What's the most expensive card that you own? Let me know in the comments below, and make sure to hit that subscribe button if you've not already, because later on this week, on Thursday, we're going to be opening up this Wooloo box, and we're going to add not another pro- not a We're going to know- we're going to add not only one more promo card to our set, but another giant promo card as well, which I've kind of kind of gotten a little addicted to. So stay tuned for that on Thursday if you're excited, um, if you're interested, and uh, thank you so much for your support. I will see you guys then. My name is Vince Farley Pilgrim. Never ever forget to eat your old greens. Don't forget to stay home, stay safe, and of course, as always, stay fresh, cheese bags. Bye!